Okay, greetings everyone. Welcome to Gerard Black in the Philippines. Coca-Cola. Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. I'm gonna welcome you to my channel. I wanna, uh, uh, my subscribers I wanna welcome, all my future subscribers, all my scallywag, peaches, triggers, haters, lovers, and commenters. Each and every one of you, I'm gonna say thank you for stopping by my channel. You know, today is Saturday. For some reason, I didn't know it was Saturday. So uh, what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to ride in the Dumaguete. And since we did this yesterday, recording while I was riding a scooter, you didn't hear the wind factor as I thought you would hear. So we're going to mount up and then we're going to go to uh, Dumaguete and I'll point out some things to you uh, that would be, I think, of interest to you. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share and like, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Um, today, because it's Saturday, there's not a whole lot of traffic. I was hoping there would be, so I could point out to you um, some of the, uh, uh, give you a lesson in how to drive and do my getting. Uh, for me personally, uh, I drive rather slow, you know, and as often as I can, I would stay in the uh, right lane. And I would stay right here. I'm not driving that fast. I have like no That's what you might say. So, as we go, over here. A lot of the businesses, it's still rather early in the morning. So, a lot of businesses haven't fully opened yet. Here they are throwing cans. Here is just throwing bags. <laughs> but I remember I used to throw cans at Hello. Uh, and, um, uh, as we pass people on the sidewalk, uh, try to make sure you kind of get them so they can kind of see the uh, unusual uh, spectacle of a black man being in the Philippines. <laughs> If I make eye contact with somebody, I often say good morning and don't speak. Maybe that's the uh, polite thing to do. And as I've mentioned once before, nothing is more rewarding than seeing a frown turn upside down to a smile. Uh, you, yeah, you get to see how a lot of drivers drive. Like I say, it's, it's, it's very quiet, as you can see. Maybe when we come back, we'll see a little bit of traffic. Got to get an idea. Everything pretty much is straight, you know, in uh, in the Philippines or uh, here in, in this part. It's like Vegas. It's just one road, you know, one road that takes you from one end to the other. And this road takes you all the way out to uh, the northern part of um, Negros Oriental. Don't ask me to name the cities because I can't. That's one of the stops I just passed. Hopefully I get to stop and you get to meet uh, one of my girlfriends there. about the gas situation but I forgot to tell you yesterday when I moved into my house uh, at that time it didn't have any gas or, or any uh, stove it didn't have any stove or anything so um, uh, when I went to buy a, uh, a oven of sorts at Robinson Appliance they asked me what do I want gas or electric and then it occurred to me that it's best to have gas because of the brownouts that often occur here in the uh, Philippines. Uh, it's better to still be able to eat with a gas stove than, a, than an electric stove and it won't work for 12 hours or however long the duration is that there uh, would be a blackout. 
So that's why I went with gas. And I would implore anybody who is out there coming to the Philippines to make a decision like that. Although gas is, I mean, electric is, you know, it's probably what we have at home back in the States. And you initially would want an electric stove. Don't. It's best if you just uh, go with gas for that reason I just gave you. Now, right now we are... Yeah, the streets are, are everywhere. They just traffic. It's okay. that I'm sure that uh, that they have throughout. But one thing I want you to notice is that there's what? No what? No traffic lights. No traffic lights. And it's all on you uh, to make it up. Uh, now I think I'm on the other side because I'm going to get a light up here. Uh, it's all up to you to make the right choice when it comes to entering uh, traffic. Ah, my go tag amigo. So, uh, we go this way. Let's see if we say hello. Let's go, friend. Hey, shit. We work here, Mr. T. Hello! Uh, 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 that's one of Mia's friends. She knew her when she worked at Red Table. Uh, it's a place I often stop because I go to that set over there. Because, you know, the, the funny thing about the movie, it's not funny, it's actually funny. Um, we just passed where they had cops. I wanted to point that out to you. But that's the big place. This is a bus depot right here where um, <laughs> uh, bus depot, you know, like Greyhound, Bus Depot, Siri, they got a series bus station. It's funny, Calvin had sent me one time to the bus station to pick up chicks. I got to pick up somebody if you can't speak the language. <laughs> but um, uh, what was I telling you? Uh, uh, it comes to that chicken, but I can't remember. Uh, it didn't come back to me. But, um, Yeah. We're going to explore uh, a tripod so Alex can steady the camera. Right over here on the right is where I have my hair cut at. Uh, these, these guys here, who you see on this side, what they do is that, here's the barbershop right here. Uh, what they do uh, they have like little minivans, and the minivans are used to, uh, you know, get you from point, here's one right here, uh, point A to point B, a lot faster without all the stops that a series bus would make. And they have guys standing on that corner there just before the series, and they have a town um, that uh, uh, they go to. In case someone is on a, on a tricycle like this, uh, may want to get off and take one of those rather than, you know, uh, riding a series bus. Okay, you can't go to the hot uh, tub spaghetti. It's a beautiful morning. Nice cool breeze. Hi, good morning. Look at that beautiful smile. 
<laughs> See, if you didn't say good morning to him, you've been left with that version of that mug. <laughs> but you say good morning to him, they can't. Where the fish market is, um, where um, I die. Um, I do most of her shopping. You can see uh, uh, all the fish market and all that stuff on that side. Uh, you can see all the uh, people. This gets very, very busy and very busy very early in the morning. You know. Uh, we should walk through there. Uh, first, I'm going to stop up here where uh, my girlfriend. Hey, Susan. <laughs> Susan is a girl I knew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? see more in the market here. Uh, um, I'll tell you what. This place opens up. And people come, vendors come, and they load up on fresh vegetables and fish. Mostly vegetables, uh, because it's too early for fish, but mostly vegetables. And they take to their respective location itself. So, uh, this is where they come. Food stand or something along those lines, uh, you would um, uh, probably stock up here. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me see. Usually they have someone to bite. Oh, but Alex. Uh, let's switch. Let's switch. Yeah. You want you want to make sure that your bike is in somebody's hands before you just walk away from it. My uh, both dog died. Good morning. Oh, she's very focused on her phone. Uh, okay, we're gonna push it up here. I'm gonna just leave me here. My boat done. Come on, Alex. My boat done. Uh, good morning. <laughs> Come this way, this way, this way. My boat dog. This market here, you can kind of see. Uh, they get these huge bundles of clothes. I saw a documentary on it once. A lot of these clothes are like from, uh, you know, the Red Cross, or you know, um, some of the Western countries donate their clothes to third world countries. And what they do is that they take them out and they put them out here and they sell. They are, they're very inexpensive, but uh, as you can see, come a little closer here, Alex, come on. You can kind of see the type of clothes they have.
Uh, we're going to walk inside here, and you can kind of see what's inside. My boat dog, good morning. My boat dog died. My boat dog, good morning. How are you? How are you, girlfriend? Okay. Uh, Bully pa? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what they say after that, but I think it's all in line with Bully pa. I'm still alive. <laughs> My boat dog. Look at the, look at these lovely, lovely Filipino girls. Say hello, say hello. Alex, can you see them? <laughs> say hello, say hello. <laughs> so what's your name? Anna. Anna? Yeah. Hannah. And what's her name? <laughs> She's shy. <laughs> She's shy. Anna, how old are you? How old? Eighteen. Huh? Eighteen. Are you sure you look about thirteen? <laughs> okay, Anna. It was nice meeting you. Oh, here, Anna. Here, and I give you my card. You will be on my video tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> see on my tomorrow. I get to see you. Now, do you want to give me your name so you'll be on the blog tomorrow? What's your name? Marley. Marley. How are you, Marlene? 17. Oh, you're 17. Oh, so neither one of you are married, no? Do you want to get married? No. No? You don't want to get married? You want to get married? Yeah. Are you looking for a foreigner? No. No? I'm uh, looking for... For a good man, yeah? Oh. Okay. So here, tell my, tell my viewers that this is Marlene. This is Marlene. She's 17. She's single. She's looking for a good man. And so those of you who are in America, Australia, who watch my channel. So say hello, Marlene. Look, Marlene. Hello. Say, yeah, hello. And this is Anna. Anna, turn around, Anna. This is Anna. Anna is also 17. She's single. Are you looking for a husband? <laughs> I don't know. She don't know yet. <laughs> I think she will do one day. Okay, Anna and Marlene, it was nice meeting you. Okay, don't forget to look at the channel tomorrow, okay? Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>